What's something weird or oddly specific that you find hot attractive? When a guy helps clean up dishes after a party. Ah yes I see that consideration and responsibility and I like it. I love intelligence. When I was dating my husband, we went to a museum in DC that had old computers. And he was telling me about the different models, notable discoveries, inventions etc. made on each on them etc. I backed him into a corner then told him we had to go home now. I still don't get it. Did he show you his hard drive or a floppy disk? Just his microprocessor. Well I understand what you mean. I always think it's interesting when people say that they are very attracted to intelligence. As if it is a kink. I figure it is a given to desire someone who is not dumb. I like hearing about people's kinks, it is hot and I think about fulfilling their desires. Username checks out, send me belly button pics. I like my women like the glass frames they wear. Thick. Okay I have a even more specific glasses thing. I swear that the most attractive women have blue blocker filters in their glasses. I first noticed it when my wife got new glasses. Then after that I noticed it everywhere attractive women and blue blockers. It's probably just the fact that they remind me of my wife or something. But I have noticed it. Hands. I want big strong hands. I think it's sexy when I see them caressing my body. Q Kira's theme. Yes, just hands doing stuff. The way they move, I wonder what else those hands can do, do you know? Someone's a fan of Patrick Swayze and Ghost. Girls with rusting bitch face. On behalf of the RBF club, God bless you. Big noses. Women with big noses really do it for me. A woman with a big nose here. This was nice to read since that is one of my biggest insecurities. Our big nose babes, mostly NSFW, helped me through my insecurities. Realized I found it attractive in other women. So why not me? The sternoclidomastoid. It's that long neck muscle that sticks out when you turn your head. Also, prominent collarbones. Guys that red. My friend. Astra's girls are always saying they want guys that red. Why do I not fit that bill? Asterisk. Me. Asterisk you read smutty sci-fi novels with busty alien women on the cover. And they can tell without ever seeing your bookcase. Asterisk. Are you the friend or the me in that situation? Lol I read equally frustrating things like pre-Sargonic period Mesopotamian history and Sumerian. Hymns. Really drives him wild. April Ludgate. April. What's that thing I always say to you? Quote. Andy. Uh. Don't take it out till you scream. Quote. April. Andy. Quote. Love this dialogue. Does anybody remember which episode this is from? Carrot Carrot Why did he get downvoted? I'm confused. ITT, the universally attractive features. It's not really weird, but women with short hair. Shout out to our short-haired hotties. A week ago I was at a Circle K and the clerk had a pixie cut. She was adorable. I find it so weird that long hair on men is called short hair on women. Reach your jawline? Nearly touch your shoulders? Short for women. Long for men. When I hear, short hair, I expect to see ears. If your hair touches your ear as a man, people, or at least barbers, think you got off of a deserted island after like 20 years. Sarcasm and dry wit. I'm sure that's really hard to find. Bottle blonde hair that's grown out a little bit to reveal dark roots. It's a like freaking cheat code how much dark roots suddenly make me lust after a guy the first normally. Wouldn't look twice at if he were fully blonde or black haired. You must be loving this whole lockdown thing. Teeth. I look for the way they are shaped and if they are slightly crooked they're perfect. Then I lure them into the basement, where I commence the extraction. When moms hold their kids' backpacks while walking home from school. Like they know their child must hate being at school all day. So they'll take on that burden in order to make their freedom that much better. Women that are much older than me. I'm 26. Like are we talking old folks homo old? Hopefully. 
freckles that saddle the bridge of the nose. I've always found that strangely attractive. Unavailability, gets me every time. Someone's gait, or the way they walk. Sometimes it's when a woman walks super confidently. But other times it's when they have that shy walk that's pretty cute. A person's gait can bring a 6 to an 8, or drop them to a 4. I'm not attracted to guys. But even then I'll see a particularly nice walking style of a guy and just think, damn that's aesthetic. With women, both their fuzzy little face hair and the length of their erect nipples. I am a simple man. Ah the old mustache and chest penises. A classic. Nips like those rubber door stops that flop back and forth for five minutes. I like that my husband uses Oxford commas. He's the only one I've ever met in the U.S. that uses the Monsieur. I live in the U.S. and I was taught to use Oxford commas right as I started to learn to write. Same, and I've done it ever since. I'm from the U.S. and everyone in my family uses them. My mom, my dad, my sister and brother. Greater than my mom, my dad, my sister and brother. Twitch. It was honestly painful to type that. Nerds. Tall skinny guys in glasses. People who don't smile. Look at an old black and white picture of a class den. It's more than a 2D thing. It's because people who don't smile usually tolerate no bullshit. Give no fucks and carry deep disappointment in their souls which leads to a cynical honesty I feel comfortable with, and when you do make them laugh or smile. It's always looks so much more real and genuine and attractive than that phony, like me, grin most. People have 24-7. Where? It's not because they like asterisk you asterisk it's because they want you to like them. Not that weird but deep voices. Heterochromia is super attractive. When my husband slowly rolls up dress shirt sleeves to the elbows. Bites fist. A normally calm chill person speaking out on something firmly with intensity. I think it's part of being taken off guard. Or witnessing the unexpected power surge. And I get a little breathless. The muscle that connects a woman's arms to her torso. Especially if her arms are stretched up above her head. Not sure how that one happened. But it is in there deep. I'm assuming you're referring to the pectoral. That is a large muscle which connects the shoulder to the sternum monsieur the boob sits on top of the lower half of this muscle. So not at all kinky to be turned on in my opinion. Lol is this. Reverse kink shaming. My kink isn't weird enough to qualify. Just kidding. Thanks for the name of the muscle lol. Gap teeth. Eye contact and laughter. Proper laughter. The ugly show and all. It shows she's comfortable around you. And the eye contact makes everything more genuine. John C. Riley, slightly to moderately lopsided breasts. Bless you. Apple bottom jeans and those boots with the fur. With the fur. With the fur. If I see a woman typing fast and with accuracy, that's really attractive. In Japanese train stations the ticket sales desks have a setup that requires a mix of typing and touchscreen inputs by the staff. They do it with such speed and grace and I find it hot as hell. Tattoos I can't really see. This translates to dark skin with not colored tattoos or tattoos that are barely poking out of clothing. Like you have to double take to realize if you're looking at tattoos. Dimples. Yes very odd and specific indeed. When girls tie their hair up in a single bun. Holy shit yes. That's so fucking hot. Women's shoulders. Especially when they wear off the shoulder tops dresses. That unbroken line over the shoulder and up the neck is intoxicating. So you're the reason girls can't wear tank tops at school. I like when guys are good with kids. Even though I don't like kids and don't want any and I'm rarely attracted to guys period. I do see when women are good with kids. A croaky voice. The hairy legs of blonde men. IDK. They're just better than brunette men's hairy legs. My husband is blonde. Ponytails. It's something so simple yet so attractive. One time I was out hiking with a friend and she needed to go pee. I pointed out that there was a bathroom just across the creek. It was about a five minute walk out of our way. 
She then proceeded to go behind a rock, told me not to look and piss just right off the trail. For some reason I found that so hot that she was comfortable enough to just go pee outside even. Despite there being a bathroom not even that far, it almost felt primal. It was also something I would have done as well. Peeing in nature feels much less disgusting than going into a public bathroom. I've got a fetish for long well manicured nails on women. Women who like to get their hands dirty. Huge veins that you could stick with an IV blindfolded from across the room. Thanks. When I see my veins often I just think I could be a pretty good heroin addict. When guys groan when they stretch. Women with high, strong cheekbones. Don't know why but my girlfriend thinks it's weird. My last name pretty much means cheekbones. It's a strong name. For a guy, big hair. Love that bro. I said this before and I'll say it again. Men using kitchen knives. I find it really sexy and entertaining watching them chop stuff up. Do axes count too? Cat girl yonder rays. Comfy sweaters. I like women with crooked teeth. How a guy's voice sounds on the phone. Some people's voices just sound really attractive on the phone. I love a long neck on a woman. My wife. I am outrageously attracted to soft men. Everything the media calls a no. I call a yes. I like them shorter than me. I'm six feet. Thin or lean of build. Mostly hairless. Soft. Clean shaven. I've dated so many guys that later came out as gay. What can ya do? Hairy men in general. Dad bods are great too. Not sure if any of those are weird or oddly specific. When guys with a deep voice laugh softly. Also the way they sound when they're sleepy. I don't know why, but it just gets my lady bits buzzing. Someone that actually cares lol. When men unbutton their shirt cuff and roll up the sleeves. Long, smooth black hair with bangs. That's cool but ever seen short curly blonde hair with bangs? When they are low-key awkward and naive and you feel like you have to protect them but then they end up protecting you. Is that normal or am I weird to want that? You're weird for using you and R. I've never understood the appeal of typing like a child so I can save a few seconds. I like when guys smile and their eyes get really wrinkly. James Franco is a great example. This is gonna be real fucking weird but I'm into robots and aliens. Humanoid and could be considered somewhat attractive of course. I also really like the idea of having sex with someone or a being that is better than me to be really hot. Like it could be anything that they are better than me in. Strength, smarts, speed, playing an instrument, etc. Women in the legal profession. On today's episode of Single Female Lawyer, didn't that one get cancelled a thousand years ago? Right in the middle of the season finale. I hear it caused quite the uproar. Forearms not too hairy but with a bit of weathering. A semi-sharp nose on a guy. Bearded men and when guys talk about something confidently but not cocky. When girls are shy around you. Kind of like when you first had a girlfriend in elementary school and all you did was blush and look at each other with few words. I am really shy also. So I get it? Don't know why. When someone is really passionate about something and they talk to you about it? They'd be so crazy happy. So into it. I just love it. Guys with a kind, quiet vibe have this interesting appeal for me. On an unrelated note, feign dark circles under their eyes. I don't know. It's like catching a glimpse of their humanness and it's kinda cool. I have dark circles under my eyes because I am staying up too late browsing Reddit. When a girl is really organized. My girlfriend as of now. Has insane organization skills. And her whole house is like someone really grown up lives in it. It just shows how mature she is. I don't know but a well put together house just does it for me. Properly organized kitchenware. Office supplies drawer with sticky notes of all sizes different colors and also being able to take care of things she has 10 plus plants i can't wait to move into our apartment together next month slight underbite intelligence thin frame but with soft hands piercing eyes willingness to show emotional weakness and cry 
Recently, IKEA, explain. I think I've got a thing for belly buttons. Oh my god I totally thought I was the only one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.